The feeling I had when I woke up today, knowing that this could possibly be the last day on the BMX bike, was a wonderful feeling. But that only meant that I had to do a lot of kilometers today. <laughs> yeah. Yo, what's up? Good morning, people. Uh, it's officially 6 a.m. right now. I packed up everything. This is probably gonna be the toughest day or days yet. I'm gonna try to head home. I got a lot of hills to climb, so uh, that might take long, but um, I don't know. I might even find a place to sleep on the way, too. <sighs> yeah, let's friggin' do this. Bye bye. I felt really motivated today, knowing that I could be home in 24 hours. I currently got 185 kilometers left, and honestly, it felt doable. We're finally leaving the European road, E34. E134, actually. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah. We're going downhill, and then we're going up again. So. Alright, we made it to the bottom, that was really fun. But uh, now we gotta go up again. About the same height as we just went down. I think it's even more actually. stuck in this situation at the moment. I just passed a place called Vodal, which is, I don't know, there's a ski center here and stuff like that. But that's not my point. My point is, is that there is nothing here, not even a gas station. I need to charge my phone, I need to charge my cameras, and I need to fill water. I don't have water right now. So I just googled the closest gas station, which is in uh, 20 kilometers. That is pretty far, and I do got food, and I'm hungry. I don't want to eat, because I'm just going to get a lot more thirsty as well. But I don't have water, so I don't have any other choice than to just do 20 kilometers. I have a better idea. Um, this is not salt water. So I'm going to fill my bottle. If anybody knows this place, can you drink this water? You probably can't, but uh, I can. Yeah, I just filled it. Yeah, it does. It definitely doesn't taste like regular water, but uh, this will keep me going. I said it before and I'll say it again. You gotta think outside the box. If you're out of water and you're thirsty, what do you do? You gotta work with what you got, obviously. Uh, I realized that there was a huge lake right beside me and when you're thirsty enough, bro, you will probably drink anything. 
and that's not salt water, so you actually can drink it. Probably not the cleanest, but it works. Anyways, I traveled 20 kilometers to the store that I was talking about, and I found somewhere where I can charge my phone. That's dope, right? There's a store here. I think they got groceries. I don't really know, though, but yeah, this place is pretty nice. And guess who found a place to charge? That's my phone hanging down from there, and then we got the GoPro camera up top. Sick, right? Got bread. I don't even know what I'm looking for, to be honest, so... Hmm. So I just left the supermarket, uh, bought some food, ate some food, charged some things, but look. Found a little tap here. Yeah. Sick. That is perfect. I think we got some downhill going. That's my home state. Ogio Filke. That's the last state. And that's the one I'm currently going to. That's sick. I'm hungry, dude. I'm kinda hungry. I'm gonna eat. There's a town down here somewhere. Not too far away. I'm gonna eat a bit there. So I kept making progress and all of a sudden I saw something I've been waiting to see bro this entire trip. Look what I see right now. Look at this shit. Look at this. First sign for Christiansen. One at the top. That's my first time seeing that sign. Christiansen. This way. I said I was gonna eat here but I thought it was more than just a couple of houses. It's literally the smallest, I wouldn't even call this a town, but um, yeah, I guess that doesn't really matter. Birkeland is 50k, so it's about 70 to where I'm going. Oh wait, there is something here. Oh, there is some place, a place where I can eat some food. Yeah, I'm just finishing the budget Nutella that I bought. That was yesterday, I think. There is nothing here. I'm in the middle of honestly nowhere. I don't understand. Well, there is something in there, it's like a little supermarket thingy, but yeah, I don't know. I kind of want a burger or something, but uh, I'll figure that out, I guess. But there's burgers in Birkeland, but uh, that's in 50 kilometers. <laughs> Living Dölemu. It's around 70 kilometers till I'm home. It's gonna take a while because I'm extremely tired, but. It is definitely doable. Wanna go somewhere else in here, yeah. I need to get home. I need to get home. How will I go home? Oh, I want to somewhere, somewhere. <laughs> Do you guys remember when uh, my friend Andy and I walked really far? Yeah, we went up there. This is where we went. Yeah, that's a really steep hill. I'm really glad I don't have to do that now. It's cold, man. The sun is down. I'm going downhill while being sweaty and wet. I need some more clothes. We're so close to Birkeland right now. It's literally just this straight road and then we're there. After riding the whole day, I finally made it to the town of Birkelan, which is the last town before my home city, Christensand. Now, I've only got 30 kilometers left. Bro. So, this is all I got left. A bit of Nutella. And like half a bread or something that I bought this morning. So I'm gonna eat everything now. That's all I got left. And I don't see the point bringing it all the way to Christensen. So I'm gonna eat that now. And then I'm gonna head home to 
crazy thing. I'm so excited, honestly. So the box of diabetes, yeah, it's it's done. It's empty. Have you ever finished a box of diabetes slash Nutella in uh, two days? I never have until today. <laughs> All right, 28 kilometers left. It's 9 p.m. Let's do this, I guess. We've got some light, mate. There's literally no lampposts here, guys. Yeah, we got some light here. Look at this piece of fucking sign, man. Christensen. And after 870 kilometers, 5 days, 2 hours, I officially reached my goal. And what a better way than to end it in my hometown. There's been some very great moments and there's been some very tiring moments. But overall, I must say that I am very happy that I actually challenged myself to do this shit. I've literally cycled more on this trip than I have my whole entire life. And keep in mind, I did it on a BMX. <laughs> I appreciate everyone who actually watched this whole series and if anyone from the area actually want to do a little challenge like this with me, please let me know. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you later.